Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another grounded update video where today we're hopping back into the bug strike back update where we are going to be talking another one of those cool things that was added to the game and that is the third version of the wave defense system that got added to the game you guys know about the mixer you guys know about base defense but this is the third one it's called the wafter now the wafter is really really cool and in this video we're going to be going over not only how to unlock it what it does what bugs can be spawned with it and also how to go through and you know guard this thing a little bit more and then finally we're going to go through and we are going to actually activate it and we're going to have a little bit of fun with it shall we so first of all let's talk about unlocking this thing so to unlock this thing it's going to require a couple things one you need to go over to the black ant hill you make it all the way through to the end of the black ant hill defeat the assistant manager and grab the super chip from that table that's right there in the assistant manager's office once you grab that chip you need to run your butt all the way back over to burgle hamburgs that chip and say what's up man here you go here's your chip give me that recipe you go over and unlock the recipe for 2500 raw science and it gives you the recipe to be able to build it well how do you build this thing sim well right now i don't believe the artwork for it is finished nor the recipe is finished but right now it's four acorn shells four flower petals and four sap in order to build this thing you can build them anywhere in the backyard it does not change what's spawned depending on where you build it in the backyard at least at this point that also may get changed in the future but for now it does not change that at all but let's go through and just look at it this is why i think that the artwork is not done for it yet it does just look like a dead ladybug it does not look like something that the teams the teens in the backyard made and or painted it just doesn't really look like that it literally just looks like a dead ladybug that's why i think either the recipe or the actual artwork for it is not yet done so we have to wait just a little bit longer to see what comes in for that but let's go through and talk about how this thing works so going through and going into it you can see you cannot summon every single type of bugs Things you can summon, though, is going to be termites, black ants, red ants, or weavers, mosquitoes, bees, termites, and infected bugs, right? All those different things can all be summoned to attack. Things that can't are going to be things that are like stink bugs, black ox beetles, ant lions, wolf spiders, larvae, ladybugs, things like that. Not even bombardier beetles can be summoned, which is kind of a bummer. But I think that that is going to change in the future. But for now, let's go through exactly what can be summoned and how to do it. So mosquitoes, we'll start with mosquitoes for say. So mosquitoes can be summoned in. You can use mosquito beaks in order to summon them in. You can also use their blood sacks to do it. But for instance, mosquito beaks, they add two rage per piece. You have other parts like the red ant parts that only add one rage per piece. But you go through and you add them to the wafter. And as you do, there is a bar down there called the bugs and rage meter that increases depending on what you're adding. So you can literally call in a whole bunch of mosquitoes. You can start calling in black ants as well. If you want a little bit of termite action, you can cut, toss a couple of those in there. Screw it, I also want red ants to come and attack me a little bit. And while I'm at it, to toss in some ore weavers if I take these away as well. Let's toss in some ore weavers. And literally you can create your own version of a mixer. As I see this system, the way that it works is this is a system I did not mean to do that. This is going to be a terrible thing. We're going to pause and talk about this for a second. This is a terrible thing I just did, but we're going to fight it anyway. But let's talk about it just for a second here. I'm going to pause in my inventory and just point out a couple things. Each of the different things that I added there add different amounts of rage and will summon different bugs to the backyard. And once they're enraged and you activate the laughter, which I accidentally just did right Right there it goes through and summons all those bugs in a wave-like system that want to come and attack you and they want to destroy the wafter i will tell you guys that they are going to come like the mixer system to come and destroy that wafter but like the base defense system, so it's kind of those two systems, the mixer and base defense system put together, like those two systems, it's actually a wave, a wave defense system where things are coming to destroy not only you, but your base, and they're after this right here. They are going to come in waves, and they will continue to come until the wafter is dead. So building up a base around this thing is definitely going to help you out. Now, as you guys can see, there are slowly bugs and stuff that are going to start coming over this way from different locations. I have made other 
a lot of bugs very angry by doing this. I only meant to actually summon in orb weavers at the end of this, but instead I summoned a little bit of everything. So we're going to see what happens. You can see they're immediately going straight for the wafter that they want to attack the wafter. The first thing was mosquitoes that came. We're going to see what else shows up because I did end up putting all sorts of things in here and you can see that the waft pile is now empty, but there is a lot of things that are that are really, really angry, including these mosquitoes that the only thing that they want to do is destroy that wafter. Now, once the wafter is destroyed, they will leave immediately. They will all disappear. You will no longer have anything that is attacking you anymore. So, just a little tidbits for you, but look at all the things that have come to attack me already. Now, if you die as well, it does not stop the raid. If you die, it just, you know, they just go and start attacking the Walker instead of you. But you need to be careful, because if your save, or your respawn point, is not anywhere near your wafter, they will just come, attack it until it dies, and this will happen. They just de destroy the wafter, and then, boom, they all destroy disappear just like that and then it says payback delivered and you have officially lost now these things are not hard to build they're not expensive to build like i said it's just acorn shells flower petals and sap it's not a big deal to build but after you go through the effort of building up an entire base around these you want to be careful about how much you're actually spawning in let's try one more time with just one part here to show you guys what i'm talking about all right so i've gone ahead and reloaded the game here and i'm just going to go in and pop in one mosquito beak and then i'm going to unleash the waft and it's going to say that payback is incoming so it does not require that thing to be full it does not require any of the bars to be full but the bugs will come to attack you and from where they mainly base is where they're going to be coming and attacking you from in what direction depending on where this thing is placed. So for instance now I'm going to get attacked by mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are going to come over here, they're going to come to attack this thing and you can change the amount of bugs that are coming to attack you depending on how many pieces you put in there. So let's go through, let's defeat these mosquitoes here really quick and see what happens shall we? So just like that, I put in one mosquito beak, I made one mosquito angry, and it said, oh no, they're coming to attack you. You defeat that one mosquito, and now it said base defended, and you're good to go. And that's that. And that's really, guys, how the wafter works. It's a fun thing to do. I would suggest you guys make like an arena to fight these things in, but it's a fun thing to do. Another cool thing that was added, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below of all the things you can't wait to summon in using the wafter. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.